As with any carving project, one of the key things really is having sharp tools. And I will uh, strop the tools about every five to 10 minutes throughout the process, just constantly keeping the edge honed. Um, I don't take them back to the stones that often, but uh, that honing really, really helps. Uh, this plaque is uh, one you could just pick up at just about any resale store, um, take the metal off of it, and you have a great surface for carving in. Um, this particular one ended up being black walnut, and uh, it's fantastic. So it's uh, good for what we need to do here. For adhering the patterns, um, I've started using double-sided tape. I don't know if it's something I will continue doing, but I, I really like it. Um, I, I ran out of the glue I had been using, and uh, this apparently works very well. So, one thing to, uh, to try. I like to actually use a, a regular chisel and a simple knife to do most of my carving. I like to keep the, the tools basic. And I find that the corner of a chisel um, is actually very useful for going around curves. Um, I'm cutting in basically a 45 degree um, cut back away from each of the, the letters. Even on the inside lines of some of these tighter curves, um, the, the chisel works into it very nicely. I could do the exact same thing with a knife, um, but I find I have far more control in this particular work with the chisel than I would with a knife. Um, the, ch the knife, I, I tend to want to overshoot what I am uh, cutting. So this works very well. Eventually I might get a V-gouge and uh, do this a little bit easier with that, uh, but for right now this works, uh, works very well. So when I, once I've cut one half of the V with the chisel, um, I'll come back in with a knife and sometimes I'll just use the chisel to cut the other half of the V away from the, the lettering. And the knife is really good for then cleaning up all of the, the corners and marks that were made and uh, just making everything look nice and sharp. Now recently I was at a garage sale and I found a, uh, a gouge with a round bottom um, with a, a very tight uh, circumference and so I figured I'd give that a try. And so here I'm playing with it and uh, I find that rather than pushing hard if you rock it back and forth you can get a nice little action through there. Uh, but you still end up having a constant pressure which uh, you run the danger of overshooting your mark and uh, gouging out something you don't want to. Um, so most of the time I end up using a, uh, a chisel mallet um, to uh, well give it light little taps um, in order. And these light taps um, actually give you a lot of control. Uh, they allow you to be able to stop at any particular moment and not go too far. And uh, you can do a lot of very fine work with it. Uh, even to the point of going around the tight circle of the dot above the eye. Um, I was able to actually go all the way around with this, just tapping away. Um, seems kind of slow in a video, but in actual work, it's very fast. And uh, something I may be doing more of. I think it's a, a good chance that I might need to get a few more uh, actual carving tools. For the lettering, I put in boiled linseed oil um, into the lettering, and I'm kind of rubbing it down in to try and get a full absorption, make those letters pop out a little bit more. Because the surface was, was already finished, um, I did go over it all again with the boiled linseed oil just to give it an even shine. Um, but mostly I'm just trying to get it down into the lettering. Each of the four corners of the metal plate had a screw and so I'm covering those up with a, a little decorative button uh, that I got at a hobby store. It actually gives it a nice look and uh, I'm fairly happy with the project. So what do you do when a relative gets married? Well, if you're a maker, you make them a gift. And this was actually really, really quick. Um, the carving in it ended up taking about an hour, um, maybe an hour and 20 minutes, um, so really not that much. Um, and it was a great time to experiment with using the gouge or using the knife. Um, I've used the knife in the past. Um, you'll see a, a video over here um, that I did for um, actually doing Celtic carving, and most of my tools I've carved with a knife. Um, but I think I might switch over to using the gouge more. So you're probably going to end up seeing me use the gouge a bit more. Um, soon I would like to get a, a V-gouge. Um, this is really kind of an experimental thing for me, um, and I'm still learning carving, and so I'm collecting a few tools. Uh, but this gouge that I was using, um, I actually got at a garage sale for a buck, cleaned it up, and I can do that with it now. So little things like this are great, and people love them, especially when there are imperfections in it, because imperfections say, this was hand done, and it really does mean more. 
um, when there are slight differences and you can tell that it wasn't just spit out by a router somewhere. So that's that. I hope you liked this video. This was a fun little project for me. It was uh, an enjoyable time. If you did like it, please hit like and think about subscribing. I want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are absolutely amazing um, and a huge encouragement to me. So thank you. If you did like the video, you might find you like one of the other videos around me. There are a lot more just like this. And until next time, have a wonderful day.